We've got lots more bracelets for those who just can't get enough, so here's the perfect one for you, the beaded multi-stitch cuff. The beaded multi-stitch cuff is a simple bead bracelet design that's super easy to make, and of course, you'll be able to make it in no time. Like many other bracelets, this one's very unique, handcrafted with stretch string beads and the peyote stitch technique. So let's get ready for a tutorial to satisfy your creative needs. Feel free to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beads. Here's a list of everything you need to make the bead multi-stitch cuff. To make the beaded multi-stitch cuff, the first thing you'll need is 4 feet of elastic stretch string. Then we'll add 30 beads to the string. As you can see, I've added 30 beads to the string using two different colors, that's black and white, alternating those colors just like this. As you will see, using this pattern will make it easier to keep up with. Now that we have those beads on the string, We'll now need to move those beads toward one end of the string and tie both ends of string together with a square knot, bringing all of those beads together, creating a simple single bracelet. When tying the string together, be sure that your string is tied nice and secure to ensure that everything stays together. As I may also mention, you may want to tie the knot several times to ensure that that knot doesn't slip. Now that the knot is tied nice and secure, you should have one long end of string and a short end of string looking just like this. At this point, feel free to cut off the short end of string as we'll only be using the long end of string for this project. Now that the string is cut and we have one long end of string to use, you'll take that string and run it through the next bead closest to that knot, which is this white bead here. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. Once you get that string through this bead, be sure to pull it all the way through to ensure you have enough string to use for this project. This will set us up for the next steps. As you can see, the string is coming out of this white bead and we can now start building on this bracelet. So what you'll do is you'll take the string and you'll add one black bead to that string. Now that we have that bead on that string, we're gonna run that string to the next white bead on that bracelet. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead when you get that string through that bead and pull the string all the way through, that black bead that was added to the string will stack into place on top of the other black bead in between the white beads, just like this. As you can see, this is what it should look like. As you will see, the string is coming out of the white bead. We will once again add another black bead to the string. Then, we'll run that string to the next white bead on the bracelet. As you can see, we're skipping the black bead. Again, watch close as I guide the string through the white bead, pulling the string all the way through until that black bead that was added to the string stacks into place on top of the other black bead here, just like this. Now that the string is coming out of the white bead, we can now add a bead to the string, then run it to the next white bead. Let's go ahead and take the string, then add another black bead to that string. Now that you have that bead on the string, we're going to run that string to the next white bead on that bracelet. Remember, we're skipping one bead, which is the black bead, and running the string through the white bead. When you get that string through that bead and pull the string all the way through, that bead will stack right into place, again, just like this. From this point, you'll see that we'll just continue repeating the same steps by adding black beads to the string, then running that string to the next white bead on that bracelet until we've gone all the way around the bracelet. So just keep repeating these steps, continuing building on this bracelet. And as a quick tip, when assembling this bracelet, be sure that you pull the string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation to ensure that the bracelet maintains its shape, keeping those beads stacked up. As I've said before, you can see that using only two colors of beads makes assembling this bracelet a bit easier to keep up with. As black and white may be perfect for me, you always have the creative choice on what colors work for you. Leave a comment below and let me know what colors you choose to make your bracelet. Now that we've just about gone all the way around the bracelet with the black bead stacked up with one more to go, let's show what will come next. So as we've done before, let's go ahead and add one black bead to the string. Then we're going to run that string to the next white bead on that row. Continue watching as I guide the string through this white bead. Of course, when you get that string through that bead and pull it all the way through, 
that bead that was added to the string will stack right into place. Now that we've gone completely around the bracelet and the string is coming out of this white bead, we're going to take the string and run it through the next black bead on this bracelet. This will step us up to the next row. So just watch close as I guide the string to this black bead, pulling the string all the way through to ensure that we have enough string to use to continue building on this bracelet. So now that we've stepped up to the next row, we're now ready to continue building up this bracelet by filling in the gaps with more beads. So once again, we're going to take this string, but this time we're going to add one white bead to that string. Now that we have that bead on the string, we're going to run that string through the next black bead here on the top row. When you get that string through that bead and pull it all the way through, that white bead will fill in the gap stacking right into place. As you can see, the string is coming out of the black bead here. We can once again do as we've done before by taking the string and adding another white bead to that string. Then, we're taking that string and running it through the next black bead on that row, getting that string through that bead, pulling the string all the way through until that white bead stacks into place, filling in the gap. From here, you will see that it's the same steps as before by adding white beads to the string, then running the string to the black beads here on the top row, filling in the gaps with beads until we've gone all the way around the bracelet. So just continue repeating these steps, filling in the gaps on this row of the bracelet with white beads. And of course, remembering to pull the string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation to ensure that the bracelet holds its form. From this visual, I'm sure that you're able to see that the white beads stack on top of the other white beads, giving it a vertical looking pattern. So now that we've just about gone all the way around the bracelet with the white beads stacked up with one more to go, let's go ahead and fill in this spot. So once again, we'll take the string, add a white bead to that string, and run that string through the black bead here, and the white bead to step us up to the next row. Watch close as I guide the string to this black bead pulling the string all the way through until that white bead stacks into place, filling in the gap. Then, we can go ahead and take the string and run it to that white bead, which will step us up to the next row. When you get that string through that bead, be sure to pull the string all the way through to ensure we have enough string to use for the rest of this bracelet. Now that we've stepped up on the next row, we're now ready to continue building on this bracelet by filling in the gaps with more beads. So as we've done before, we'll take the string, but this time we'll add one black bead to the string. Now that we have that bead on the string, you'll run the string through that next white bead, getting that string through that bead, pulling it all the way through, and that bead that was added will stack into place, just like this. So again, you'll take the string, add another black bead to the string, then run that string through the next white bead on that row. When you get that string through that bead, and pull it all the way through, that bead that was added will stack right into place. From here, we'll just continue repeating the same steps by filling in the gaps on this row of the bracelet with the black beads until we've gone all the way around the bracelet. With this visual, you're able to see that assembling this bracelet is as easy as can be, with its simple steps of adding a single bead to the string, skipping a bead, then running that string to the next bead, causing that bead that was added to the string to stack into place, creating another spot to be filled in and built on. We've just about gone around the entire bracelet with black beads stacked up with one more to go. Let's go ahead and show how to step up to the next row. So we've added a black bead to the string and we'll run that string through the white bead and the black bead here which will step us up to the next row. Watch close as I guide the string to these beads. As you see, I'm starting with the white bead first and then I'm running the string to the black bead here on the top row, pulling that string all the way through until that black bead that was added stacks into place and we're now set up on the next row. As you can see, we're all set for adding more beads to the string, creating another layer filling in the gaps in between the black beads. By now, you should know the simple steps in assembling this bracelet. This will be the final row of the multi-stitch cuff. But with this simple design, you can always build up the bracelet up to as many rows as you desire. The creative options are always in your hands. And as a simple reminder, be sure to pull the string just enough, keeping those beads in a tight formation to ensure that your bracelet maintains its shape. Now that we've gone all the way around the bracelet with one more spot to fill, let's go ahead and show the step once more by adding one white bead to the string, then running that string through the next black bead. Continue watching as I guide this string through this bead, 
pulling that string all the way through until that white bead that was added stacks right into place, just like this. With the string coming out of this black bead, we will now run that string to the next bead here at the top, which is the white bead. Again, continue watching as I guide this string to this bead, getting that string through that bead, pulling all the way through and just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation. Now we'll need to run the string through one more bead to ensure that those beads stay locked in. So we'll take the string and run it through this black bead here. Continue watching as I guide the string through this bead. Of course, when you get that string through that bead, you pull it just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation. From here, the string is all set, so all we need to do is to find a way to tie off the string that'll keep all of those beads locked into place. So, we're going to run that string in between these beads and tie the string together with a knot that'll stay tightly secured. What we are doing is using the previous string as a way to keep it all linked together. With this visual, you'll be able to see how I tied the string together to the rest of the string. Tying the string may be a bit tricky at first, but with some trial and error, you'll be able to find the best way to keep the string tied securely. You may also want to tie the knot several times to ensure that everything stays together and locked into place. Once your knot is tied securely and everything is locked into place, all that is left is to carefully cut off the tied loose end of string and your bead multi-stitch cuff is now complete. And there you have it, another fine bead bracelet design that was fast, fun, and easy to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new or you just haven't already, don't forget that you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one, hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, be sure to wear it and share it. Thanks for watching TurboBeads.